Hi guys, this is section 9.2, which is multiplying and factoring polynomials. This should be a fast lesson. There's three learning targets or three things I'm going to teach you guys. Uh, multiplying uh, by the distributive property, finding the greatest common factor or GCF, and then factoring polynomials um, where you factor out a monomial from the polynomial. And you see what I mean. So the first one, multiplying, you can see I have a monomial times a trinomial. Okay, so all you do is distribute these in, so that's why this is going to be quick, you should know this. 3x times 4x squared is going to be, um, sorry, 12x to the third. 3x times negative 3x is going to be minus 9x squared. And then 3x times positive 7 is plus 21x. Okay, so pretty simple in doing that. Same thing here, just one more example. When I do this first one, it's going to be 36x to the fifth. So again, we're using our um, exponents that we used, proper exponent properties that we used last chapter. This next one is 4x cubed times positive 6x, so plus 24x to the fourth. And this last rainbow is times negative 8, so it's minus 32x to the third power. Okay, so just multiplying it. Um, sorry, I can see that there's a glare. Multiplying it um, in. As we pull out the next thing, so going backwards is like finding the GCF. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to find the GCF and then factor polynomials. In order to factor, you got to find the GCF. So this is like step one before you start factoring. There's two ways to do it. The book showed the long way. I'll show you a shortcut. Um, so if this is my polynomial and it says find the GCF, what you can do is do the prime factorization. So you're factoring that out and you can see 4 is 2 times 2 and then there's 3x cubed is 3x's. Um, 8 is 2 times 2 times 2 and then there's 2x's. And 12 is 2 times 2 times 3 with another x. So what you do is you just look for whatever is common. So you, um, I can see that these are common. And then I can have 1x in each one. After that, nothing else is in common. So when I multiply it out, my GCF is going to be 2 times 2 times x, which is 4x. Okay. The other way of doing that is if you just think of each of these as an individual term, find the GCF for the number. So if out of 4, 8, and 12, I can see that my GCF is going to be 4. And I, I would suggest doing it this way um, because you'll see why when we do the factory. And then the, the least amount of x's I have is an x because I, I have x. So the only thing I have in common with all three of these is the 4x. So my GCF is going to be 4x. So if you want to list out all the prime factors, you can and then circle all the common ones. Or you can just do it this way where you just put it over and then find what the common... Uh, factors are so look for the greatest common factor. Okay, so factoring polynomials looks like this. So I'm going to change the light. And what you want to do is find the GCF and pull it out in order to factor. So when you're factoring, and this is why I said you want to do it the other way, uh, the shortcut way that I showed you. What you want to do is look for your GCF here. So I can see it's going to be a three, three. 3, and I have 2 x's, 3 and 5, so it's going to be x squared, the least amount that they have in common. So 3x squared. So once I pull out my GCF, now all I do is simplify each one of these fractions down here. So when I put the 3x squared here, now I just have to simplify this or divide it like we did in the last chapter. So 3x to the fifth divided by 3x squared is going to be x to the third power minus 12 divided by 3 is 4. And then if you remember, this is the one where you go minus 2, minus 2. Sorry, I should have showed it. And so when I do that, I get 4x. And then plus 15 divided by five, um, 3 is 5. And then x squared divided by x squared is just itself. And there's your answer. So what you did was you just factored out the 3x squared and then left whatever was left. So here's another example in case you didn't get down. I have 24x to the 7th minus 8x to the 5th plus 16x. Okay. 
Um, I want to put each one of these over to make a fraction. I can see the GCF for this is going to be 8. And then I have 1x, 5x, and 7. So I just uh, all I can pull out is the 8x. So I'm pulling out an 8x. So when I put the 8x over here on the side, my GCF, now I just simplify this fraction. And 24 divided by 8 is 3. I have an invisible 1, so when I minus 1, I get x to the 6th power. Minus 8 divided by 8 is 1, so x to the 4th power, because there's an invisible 1, so minus 1. And then 16 divided by 8, drop down the plus sign, is 2, and x divided by x is just itself. So there's my answer. I factored out an 8x, and that would be my answer. Sorry, I'll make this so you can see better. Okay, so that's how you factor a polynomial. You're factoring out a monomial out of each one of these. Okay, here's another one that might be a little trickier, but it's, just, it's the same system. You pull out a 3, you pull out a 3. I have x squared and x7, so I can pull out 2 from each of those. And then I have y to the 3rd and y to the 5th, so I can pull out 3 because that's the smaller of the numbers. Okay, so now I just put this GCF here, y to the third, and all I do is simplify the fractions down. So when I simplify this, 3 divided by 3 is 1, x squared divided by x squared is 1, and I'm left with y squared. Okay, if you didn't see that, this is, becomes 1 and this becomes 1, because it's anything divided by itself. Okay, on this one, the 9 divided by 3 is 3. I have two of these, so I'm going to minus 2, and I get x to the fifth power. And then y cubed divided by y cubed is just 1, so that just drops off. So that's, again, factoring out, factoring down a polynomial. Okay? So multiplying made it, um, made it bigger really quickly. Factoring, you, you took a polynomial, and then you made it into something like this, where it's a monomial, monomial times a binomial, whereas... When you multiplied it like this, you went backwards, or you went the other way, where you have a monomial times that, and then when you put it all in, you just get a trinomial with no um, parentheses. Okay. The last thing I want to show you that's not in the examples very well is putting this into standard form. Okay. So I have all of this, and what I need to do is a double distributive. So I'm going to do this, and I get 4x squared minus 3x, then I need to take the negative 7, if you remember I did that, and that becomes negative 7x squared, negative 7 times negative 2x is plus 14x, and then negative 7 times negative 9 is plus 63. And then now I need to combine my like terms. So I have a 4x squared here, and a negative 7x squared here, okay? and that becomes negative 3x squared, I have a negative 3x and a 14x, and that becomes plus 11x, and then I just have the 63 by itself. Again, you need to order it standard form, highest degree, down to the lowest degree. Okay, That's 9.2. Hope this helps.